Hi friends, I'm here with you today from Garissa, where Linking the World has a school and orphanage for displaced children. Uh, most of the children here are made up of refugees from Somalia, and where we are right now, we're about an hour from the Somali border. If you're familiar with the current political and physical situation, you'll know that it's been hit hard by conflict. There's political instability, and they're experiencing the worst famine that they've had in years. Kenyan and U.S. forces are fighting Al-Shabaab, which is an Al-Qaeda group. And needless to say, here food and security go hand in hand. This is my second visit, and on this particular trip, I'm meeting with our local staff and our security advisors on how we can better serve the people um, while staying safe and keeping our food reserves secure. Just so you know, our aid trucks get chased on every single run. The staff, they say that they're not really worried about their safety. Maybe it's because it's such a normal occurrence to them, but we have to consider the risks. We're working in an area where there are desperate people with very little or nothing to lose. Um, working in some of the areas that I have with linking the world, I unfortunately meet a lot of refugees. Um, they've taught me so much about strength and the human spirit. Just a couple of months ago, I was working in Myanmar, Burma, uh, and Thailand. And even there, we have many refugees at our centers. This year alone, I've been all over, from Haiti to Russia to Australia, all over Southeast Asia, definitely all over Africa. Um, I've, I was even in London a couple times this year working with the UN and Sports for Peace during the Olympics. But when I'm abroad, I definitely would say I get homesick. Uh, the difference is I get to go home. And the children here, the refugees, they don't have that choice. If one day they're able to go back, it's not going to be what it once was. The element that our country is fighting, that our men and women are fighting, is the same element that these people wish to eradicate, which is extremism. Right now they are running for their lives and they're clinging on to the hope that one day they can uh, return home and they're, just, they're the future of their countries and they all want what we all want, which is peace. Before I left, uh, Trinity asked me what terrorism was. It's really sad that today, in this day, we have to explain terrorism to seven-year-olds. Um, what's terrorism? It's the act of taking a stranger and using fear in order to control and to destroy. I, I truly believe that what we're doing is the complete opposite of terrorism. It's taking a complete stranger and offering a hand of friendship in order to sow understanding and peace. Uh, and the reality is this, if we are not the ones out there creating friendships and dialogue, then those that want to oppress us will. I'm, I'm so aware of how lucky and blessed I am to live in the United States. I think about it all the time, how very little separates us other than circumstances of birth. Even here in the most desperate of circumstances, uh, I witness the most incredible acts of kindness compassion, generosity that people show to one another. And this is between people from different nations, different ethnic groups and religions. We have to look after one another. It's our humanity. If there are people out there suffering, we have to do what we can. And everyone can do something. Personally, uh, and I hope that I can continue to weave this into the belief system here at Linking the World, we're aware that we're ambassadors to our country through the work that we do. And we just want to share that message of peace and compassion. Until next time, thank you.